walking behind women, going to, into stores on your own with your hood up, you know, walking in certain neighborhoods. People are just going to look at you differently. It's a really unfortunate part of life, but it really does happen often. Like, I can't count legitimately. This might sound funny, but I'm not trying to be funny. I can't count the amount of times that I've walked behind women or I've run behind them running sometimes and they've screamed. I can't count. It's really beyond uh, a num. It's beyond a, any sort of a number that I can imagine right now of the instances that I've had where I've been running down the street, walking down the street. A woman hasn't been paying attention, and then she suddenly realizes I've made a mouth sound, or she hears my feet, and then turns around and screams. It happens so often that you don't take it personally anymore. You don't. Be, you don't. You're not offended anymore. You know. You don't feel anything. You just keep it moving. Usually I've got headphones on anyway, so whatever, sorry, or whatever thing they say, I don't even hear it, and I just keep it moving. But it happens all the time, like, ah, ah, ah. And I'm sure most of it has to do with, you know, women are smaller and frailer, and there's more opportunity for them to get, you know, snatched and abused, and they can't have the benefit of doubt. But I swear to God, man, it happens all the time, especially if I look like this, especially if I'm in my album mode, right? Album mode, Agostino. Especially, I mean, Alba Mode Agostino with the beard and the hair the way it is. Then, honestly, the running that I see, especially when I'm out running, because I don't notice how flipping hard I'm flipping running and my feet are stomping on the ground and I'm, <laughs> I'm like flipping Black Wings of Redemption running down the street, carrying all this extra flub. <laughs> And then the woman behind me, like in front of me carrying a flipping shopping, going home, turns around and sees me, like, you know, running. Like, ah! I'm like, relax, man. I'm trying to flipping get my fucking mile run under seven minutes. I'm trying to aim for, you know, seven minutes, 50 or something. Or I'm trying to get it under seven minutes. I'm trying to get it under eight minutes. I'm not running after you, you flipping lunatic. I'm not going to just fucking snatch your H&M bag. Relax, Dorothy. Chill out, all right? I don't want your fucking baguettes. I'll buy my own baguettes, all right? But you're running around. It happens so often. And honestly, it's a thing you have to kind of keep in the back of your mind. Like, I've done it so often, especially um, being, you know, the way that, looking the way that I look. You have a woman in front of you. She's walking to go to somewhere. I don't know, a block of flats, wherever it may be. And I'll let them walk in front of me. I'll literally let them walk in front of me. I'll literally stand there, let them walk in front of me. I'll grab my phone. I'll check it let them walk up the stairs and then I'll kind of go after because I don't want to be right behind them because sometimes you have girls do this thing where like you'll be a woman you're behind you're coming you know you're walking in the same building you're walking the same way and they'll stop and let you walk in front which is probably more offensive than screaming I'm not gonna lie <laughs> that's more offensive than screaming like stopping and like going yeah no you go and let me walk in front. That's like, raw. what do you think I'm going to do? Lift your fucking skirt up. Like, kick you in the ass. Like, try and fucking knee you or something. It's not that serious. Like, just walk. I don't know. I'm not even paying attention to you. I'm literally not. <laughs> but honestly, it happens so often. So you just have to kind of like, not, not, you know, not take it personally. Understand that it's coming from a self-preservation point of view. And it kind of is what it is. You know, you, you speak to enough women out there. You hear some crazy stories about how they flip in. Um, get to feel I think I always say it often like one of my craziest revelations that I kind of find out about women was that I went to this house party once you know me I like to be the center of attention I'm there holding court I'm throwing out topics at the house party like I'm one of those type of guys right I'm at a house party I'm throwing in would you rathers I'm throwing in conversation piece I'm saying hey do you see that on social media I'm there I'm holding court so I remember holding court talking and we start talking about what we like ordering on flipping delivery apps and shit and then one girl's like, oh man, I wish I could do that. I haven't ordered a delivery app in ages. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, there's many, there's loads of delivery apps. Why wouldn't you order food? And she's like, oh, I live by myself. So I never order, I never order in when I'm eating by myself. I only order in if like my friends come over. I'm like, what? And I ask all the girls in the room, hold on. Do all the girls in here that live on their own, you never order um, delivery like a pizza to your house if you're by yourself? They're like, no, because I'm afraid what may happen. Like, and then, and then some other girls in the room, right, they were asking, they were like, oh, no, when I do order at home, if I'm really hungry, I'll sometimes order like two meals to make it seem like somebody else is in the house. I'm like, no way. So yeah, I order two medium pizzas and get two drinks and two sides just so it looks like someone else is in there. I'm like, fuck. So if that's the case and you're a woman and you have to navigate through life like that and then you hear me 
my big beastly self running behind you, jogging. <sighs> I kind of get it. I get it while you're scared. I get why you scream because you shouldn't give me the benefit of the doubt. You don't know me, right? I could be fucking anybody <laughs> exactly. So, you know, I understand the, the, the flipping fear and the flipping um, self-preservation side of it. And it is what it is. I don't take it personally in the slightest. So big up my women's out there. Big up my women.